This week's episode is about faith and action. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. It's Labor Day here in the United States, a day that traditionally signals the end of summer, though we all know that it is to honor the labor unions who created fair labor practices. Unofficially, it's the end of summer. And our minds turn toward the program year, the school year, the year when things get back to their more routine schedule. And for church folks, That means thinking about Rally Sunday, Homecoming Sunday, Recovenanting Sunday, whatever you call it. A day when people regather after a summer of being scattered. It's a good time to think about this week's scriptures in the lectionary, which spoke about how our lip service to God is insufficient. In other words, that what we say we believe, particularly when we're gathered for worship, needs to match how we act out in the world. And I wonder how often we think about that. We're very good progressive Christians when we gather and we say we want justice for all people, we practice love and forgiveness, and all people are God's beloved. But when we get out into the world, when we're not with those who are like-minded, we tend to forget that our actions need to match our faith. Our faith should inform who we are and how we are in the world. And most of the time, I don't think any of us do a very good job at that. So I want to ask you to think about that with me. What is it that you believe? Do you believe that God loves all of humanity and all of creation? Do your actions out in the world support that? Are you aggravated by the current administration's rolling back of environmental protections around coal industry in Virginia? You should be, if your faith and your actions match. Do you believe that there should be justice for all of humanity? Do you do anything to support local community action such as Black Lives Matter, Fair Labor, 15 Now, those kinds of things? Maybe you should consider that if you want your actions and your faith to be together. Do you curse at people who cut you off on the highway? Are you impatient waiting in line at the supermarket? Are you frustrated when your coffee isn't just the way you like it? Maybe you should reconsider your responses to those situations as well. Because if we believe that God loves all of humanity, and we claim to be Christians with our lips, then our actions are as Christ in the world. That is how people will view Christians. How we behave tells people who Christ is. I want people to know that Christ is loving and forgiving and kind, merciful and patient. How about you? Join me in bringing our faith and action closer together. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.